Hey everyone, it's Asahi and welcome back to another video on my channel. If you're new here, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you can be notified when I upload. So I am so excited for this. I ended up picking up some pastels. I've actually had this for a little while now, um, but I'm finally getting around to it. So I've been seeing a lot of videos of people making their own custom colors with these chalk um, pastels. So I ended up getting mine off of Amazon and this one is 64 colors. Look at that. So I'm so excited because I wanted to see if I could do my own gel custom colors. So we're going to see how that's going to go. Um, to do this, these are the colors. Let me just get you guys up and close on all of these colors. I am so excited. The last color... Um, gels that I created they all have this pearl shimmer to it so I'm excited about this because this is just going to be a plain solid color super excited about that um but to do this I did end up picking up these little black jars and of course I am going to leave everything linked but these jars came 72 jars I believe and it was um again on Amazon and then I ended up picking up some IBD hard gel and this is what I'm going to be creating my custom colors with. I'm not really sure how this is going to turn out. It could turn out really good or just really bad and lumpy, but we are gonna get straight into it. So for this first one, I just wanted to test it out to see if it was actually going to work or not. So the drill bit I'm using is one of those bits that comes with any new drill. Um, and I thought it was like a super fine drill and I didn't have to replace it at all. All I did was clean it in between. I just kept it running and then just ran it through a brush and all of that pigment came out. But after I did the first one, I realized that this was going to work perfect. Um, so I did a couple more and then I just started swatching them and the consistency of it was like a medium. It didn't really change the gel itself. Um, and the color pigment itself was really well, but it is super, super messy doing it. I had to put gloves. I put some napkins down. I ended up switching it and putting it on top of my drill, my um, dust collector. And I would not recommend just putting it straight on your dust collector because I ended up ruining, as you can see here, I ended up ruining the filter itself. So I am going to have to get another filter. But I did a couple at a time. I did it in groups and I felt like that worked faster for me. And for the bit itself, the drill, I ended up going in between a five and an eight. Um, I think like six um, RPM worked best for trying to keep most of the powder inside the container. Um, but what I ended up doing with the dust collector itself, I ended up laying a tissue on top just to cover the dust collector and air still kind of flowed through it, sucking that dust down after I was filing it and it ended up working out really well. When it came to how much powder I needed, I kind of just eyeballed it. Um, and I think I found a little less than half of the little chalk pieces. And those chalk pieces are pretty small. Um, so it was kind of hard holding it, hovering it over the little jar itself. But I do end up showing you how much I use. And as far as the hard gel, I ended up filling it halfway, mixing it together with that pigment. And it kind of fills up the container nicely.
The last time I did my custom colors, it took me six hours. This time it took me seven hours because I had to file down each color myself. Um, but I did break it up in between three days. Um, so it wasn't too hard for me at that time. It was just a long process. But after that, I ended up sticking on these little tiny circles on the jars because I wanted to add the color pigment on top. And I did cure it with the lid on top and I just stuck the whole jar inside the light. And these jars worked very well. It didn't cure the inner gel at all. Um, from there, I didn't really know what to label them as. So I ended up just labeling, it, labeling them the same name of the um, company, which is that Moon Moongyu. I think it's called <laughs> Moon Yoi. Well, I don't know, whatever. And then I just added um, number one through 64 in each color. I did organize the colors in color order. Um, and then as far as the swatch sticks, I used clear labels. And then when it came to the jars, I ended up purchasing white labels. And those actually worked really well for this jar. And once again, I labeled them one through 64. I have one of those Amazon cards, those 15 draw Amazon cards, and this is one of the drawers, and I just lined the inner um, drawer with like this rubber lining, and I stuck all of those jars in. I do need to get a better drawer, um, just storage system in general, because I am running out a ro of room. Um, I do want to add more of these custom colors, just really mixing some of the pigments together. So I'm definitely going to need more storage space. But after I put everything in the drawer, I was really happy with how organized and put together it looked. And with it numbered the way it is, it's going to be really easy for me to find the color that I need. So this is what the chalk looks like after I filed it. I just want to visually show you guys what each one looks like and how much I used. Um, and these are the colors. I am really happy with all of these colors. Some of them do look very similar, but trust me, they are different. I also think it matters on how much pigment you put in each. Um, but I am super happy with these colors. I like that they don't have that shimmer like the last set that I did each one had a shimmer Now these are the solid ones. So I'm super happy to add this to my drawer system my little Collection of custom colors and I'm excited to create more colors with these pigments I hope this video helped a couple of you out and inspired some of you to try to go ahead and just create your own custom colors. Um, it is not hard. It is tedious, but it is not hard. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you have any questions or even other suggestions on how to make your own custom colors, I'll be more than happy to create another video testing those suggestions out. So let me know what you guys think. As always, thank you everyone for taking time out to watch this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please make sure you guys are following me on all on my social media accounts. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys in the next one.